This is quite a party. I know it is, isn't it? <laughs> we had to cancel a lunch for the Stuttgarts because we only heard about it from Suki last night. Emily, that hardly matters. I didn't say it mattered. I was merely relaying the facts. Well, anyway, I'm glad you're here. We wouldn't miss it. Of course we wouldn't. We're her grandparents. I just can't believe they did this for her. I don't think this is all for Rory. I think this party is a testament to you, Lorelei, and the home you've created here. I regret that you needed Richard. to... Richard. I now let me finish, Emily. I, I regret it. And we've... Recent experiences... Oh, have please, taught... don't become one of those I had a heart attack when we express my every thought types. Not every thought, dear. Just this one. It takes a... Re a remarkable person to inspire all of this. Thanks, Dad. Okay, that's enough. It's not as though the two of you are saying goodbye. No bratwurst? No bratwurst. Just corn, then. What can I get you? I can't decide. Hmm? Hey, look, I'll have two hamburgers, medium rare. Hold on a sec. No, I lie. We really should be going, but I want to say goodbye to Rory. I guess I'll eat later. Okay. Okay, now what can now I do? Now, listen. Instead of a spa, what about a tennis court? People love tennis. You could put a bubble over it. Oh, God. Outside the inn, you can use it during the summer and winter. There's really no downside. Mm-hmm. Now, it's a little expensive, but your father and I have discussed it, and we are willing to loan you the money. Oh, well done. Standard terms, no interest. Mom, why do you want to loan me money? All it would require is the three of us sit down and hash out the details. Obviously, we want to get together with you from time to time to see how things are progressing, but we wouldn't become pests about it. Mom? Why don't we just talk about it Friday night at dinner? Oh. So our Friday night dinners are going to continue then? Well, we might as well kind of gotten used to it. All right. That sounds fine. But don't be late and don't wear jeans. When have I ever worn jeans to dinner? Well, I don't know. It could very well be Rory who enforces the dress code. I'm just saying that I don't think that jeans are appropriate. Fine. Spandex in the tube top it is. Hey. Hey. My dear. Oh, thank you. Now, listen. You keep in touch, and not just postcards, phone calls as well. Of course. It's an honor to be your grandmother, Rory Gilmore. Well, thank you. I've... Thank you for everything. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I'll walk you guys to your car. Hey. Hey! It's beautiful, isn't it? So beautiful. I can't believe you pulled it off. No, I just did all the baking. This was all Luke. What? He made me promise not to tell you, but I don't care. This is all Luke. He did all of it. I mean, he's the one that came to me and said, let's do the party, and then he planned the secret town meeting, everything. Really? Yeah. I mean, then last night when we thought you know, it was going to rain and we'd have to cancel the party, he went around and collected everybody's tarps and tents and raincoats, and I don't know how he did it. I mean, he must have stayed up all night doing this. Can you believe that? Yeah. I'll be back. OK. Take her. I can't hear you. My eardrum popped. Oh, Lorelai, if you see Luke, tell him that he and he alone is responsible for all party cleanup. OK. Lorelai, you want to make a Maurice sandwich? Maybe later, Babette. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Ah, it's no big deal. I just like to see you happy. You can't stop my heart.